Bam. Got a pretty little Chavez on the screen today. <clears throat> Courtesy of my homeboy, Lou. Long Island Knife Guy. What is up, my YouTube fam? Mi familia. Mi familia. Yeah, so got a few uh, got a few gifts from a few people. Not gifts, loaners for the channel. Along with uh, this one here, I got two other Chavez, which I'm not gonna show you yet. If you follow my Instagram, you might have seen it. Can't remember if I posted it or not. But I got another package <clears throat> that I will show you right now. Sneaky peeky. Whoa. Oh. So. A couple of you dudes might already know, uh, Spirited Whiskey, Spirited Whiskey on Instagram, Ryan, very cool guy. Please go follow him. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put it right. Let's see, right here, Spirited Whiskey. And I'm sure it's going like this. Might be drifting. All right. Okay. Spirited Whiskey on Instagram. I might do it again. Beek. All right. Super cool dude. He hits me up last week and says, hey brother, I want to send you some some customs and, uh, and a gift. And the gift was freaking, dude, freaking mind blown. Okay, mind blown. Could not believe it. I, I've been wanting one of these for a while and then just out of nowhere, uh, Ryan hooks me up. I'm gonna call him Whiskey because that's that's what sticks in my head. So Whiskey hooks me up. Freaking just such a killer dude. So many cool dudes in this knife community and, and just once again, man, proven. And there's another one to add to my list of dudes that that are lifelong homies. Primp a little bit. Just super, super chill dudes. So I've already cut this thing so I didn't have to do all that crazy madness. And I'm gonna... There's just some plastic. Oliver's not in here, so he can't get. Them. When you guys see what's in here, you're gonna freaking, you're gonna freak out. Now you probably won't freak out, but I freaked out. Yeah, yeah. It's, you can get some secondhand freak out if you want to. I'm, I'm imagining all you guys at home going, oh, probably not gonna happen. <laughs> so we will start with the gift. We'll start with the gift knife. The one that, and I'm gonna jump down close and show you guys <clears throat> all of these. So I'm just gonna give you kind of a you know, a sneaky peeky, but this is a custom, a customized rather thresher, you know, Gavco. Uh, this thing has had some work done to it. I mean, it's awesome. I'm not gonna be able to give you a great view because I can't really reach way all the way up there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop you down close. I'm just gonna kind of give you some, but yeah, I got this freaking thresher, man, that I, and I have wanted one of these threshers for a long time. And he hits me up. <clears throat> We're just kind of BSing back and forth, chit chatting about knives. And he's and while I was talking, to him, he showed me a picture of his thresher, this one. And I was like, "Wow, dude, that's a killer knife. I've been wanting to get a thresher. You know, as soon as I get, as you guys know, I've been dealing with a lot of stuff with the surgery and the bone disease thing and like all the stuff I've been dealing with, hip replacement and all that stuff. So it kind of threw me off my game. I'm not where I usually am." Uh, usually I can, I can drop a little bit on a knife if I want to and, and be okay. But right now I'm not, I haven't been that way. So we were chit chatting about that and I was like, yeah, you know, as soon as I get back on my feet and everything's rolling like I want it to again and I'm, I'm made whole again, this is going to be one of my first purchases is the Thresher. I've wanted one for a long time. I am just infatuated with this knife and, uh, I no longer than, than wrote that text message that he shot, I think he was shooting it at the same time. I said, I'm gonna get one soon. He sends, I'm gonna donate you mine. And I'm like, dude, you do not have to do that at all. <laughs> so he says, okay, well, uh, at least review it. Cause I didn't, I told him, I was like, man, you don't have to do that, man. That's super nice, but you don't have to do that. So he's like, okay, well at least take it and review it. And I was like, okay, that I'll do that. So he sends it and then whenever the box gets here, he goes, oh, just kidding. Yeah, it's yours and you freaking snuck it in. Uh, but that was super chill, man. Super awesome. I'm, I'm so, so thankful, Ryan. Thank you so much. Uh, freaking awesome guy. So that's numero uno. And I do know what's in these cases. So, you know, just kind of bear with me here, but these things are awesome. These are, if you haven't seen them before, these are Cope Customs. Ed Cope 
is a, a custom knife maker who does phenomenal work. He's a phenomenal human being. He is a he's a veteran. Uh, forgive me because I've only sc I've scrolled his page a few times and I've learned a little bit about him and for whatever reason the branch of military he was in escapes me for right now so I, I apologize for that I may come back in and edit it in I may you know put it right here showing you but when I'm doing all this editing but what a freaking awesome guy man he even goes as far as naming his knives after the call signs of his fallen brothers in war just a really really good dude really good dude and i'm i'm uh, i'm honored to be able to hold some of his some of his uh customs man so and i'm i'm so thankful that whiskey was cool enough to send them to me so that's what we're gonna do this is a mid tech this is a a cope mid tech and like i said i'm gonna drop down close and give you guys up close views of all of these but the action on this one i have to be careful i can't just hold it like this it'll chop my thumb off i gotta kind of angle it a little bit because this thing is a an absolute guillotine. Let me see if I can get my thumb out of the way. Just an absolute guillotine. And it's solid as a rock, too. There is not a, a, a not a hair of play in this thing. And it's just super, super smooth. But just a, a, a wonderful, wonderful knife. I've been playing around probably with this one more than anything else. And it's got a really super hard detail. I love the blade shape. The blade shape reminds me almost of like a raptor or something. It's very, very cool. I believe he uses CTS XHP on all of his blades. This one does not say that it's XHP, the other ones do. Whiskey actually got this one plain Jane, just gray, and then he had that gold brass looking color put on there, as well as the clip, and had it customized to suit him, and I love it. All right, so first one up is the SR33F. The blade length is 3.23, closed length, right at four and a half inches overall length eight inches on the dot this one was born december of 2018 december 17th 2018 actually and it shares the same uh rafter <clears throat> type blade shape as this guy right here uh, i don't know if you can make that out i'm going to dive down close like i said before and i'm going to let you guys see all these up close but it is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous the handles on it are gorgeous. The clip, the millwork, the holes in the scales, the blade finish. You can see on this one right there, it says XHP. I'll, I'll show you all that down close, but just gorgeous. So smooth. Detent is so nice, nice and, and smooth. And when you get, when I get you down close, you're going to love it. Uh, cause I'm going to do a first impressions after this. It is Oh man, the scales are so amazing. And there's no no telling how in the world he does this pattern on these scales, but wow. All right, the other one, this one is, I know because I read somewhere and I can't remember where I read it, but he named this model <clears throat> specifically for uh, one of his brothers, man. One of his, one of his military uh, buddies that, that he served with and his call sign was t22 and so this knife is t22 that's that's uh, his buddy's call sign and so he named this knife specifically for that dude this is a one sweet sweet knife i love that blade shape it's gorgeous it's got it's almost like a, if you've seen the chris reeve uh umnum's on how it's got that harpoon shaped blade which for me is is just i mean it fits your finger so nicely right there to, for making those little draw cuts, those little accurate cuts like opening packages and things. And it's got that Tonto on the front. So man, it's just such a, a perfectly handling blade. And I'm gonna show you some details down close on this one too that will just blow your mind that are just un, unbelievably gorgeous. Even down to the hardware, man, they're, they're blue in the center with gold. Action again, smooth, crispy detent. I mean, the flipper is just perfect. Uh, it's got a, a lock bar stabilizer on the inside there that, that prevents any kind of over travel from the lock bar. <clears throat> the flipper tab is nice and small and out of the way, and but just big enough to get the job done. That's what she said. But uh, the clip and everything, man, has just got this beautiful anodization on it. I'm not sure if it's anodization. I, I apologize, that's probably not the right word. It's probably some other finish, but absolutely blown away that 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 whiskey would send me this stuff uh, i just wanted to do a quick unboxing just to show you guys what came in 
and then you will probably see all of this ran together. I'm not sure. I don't know how long this video has been going. I think about 10 minutes, so I'm going to cut it down and do what I'm going to do. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, Spirited Whiskey, thank you so much, brother. Thank you for, uh, for sending me this stuff and entrusting it to me. And uh, I'm going to dive down close and let you guys get some kind of first impressions looks at everything. So that's what's coming up. Stick around. Bam. This is my first impressions video of the Coke Customs, the Coke Mid-Tech, and the Thresher. Uh, I believe the way that I'm doing this, I should have already, you should have already seen the unboxing portion of the video. But the way I was gonna do it, I could not upload just the unboxing. It just wouldn't do it justice. I wanted you guys to see up close and you're going to see these more in the next couple of weeks, the craftsmanship that goes into these. It is amazing. Look at that, that finish. I think he calls it like a, a, a toxic finish, if I'm not mistaken. I wish I could be 100% sure. I'm still learning about these. I literally just got them yesterday. So I'm not 100% sure about everything yet. But man, oh man. I mean, just beautiful. Look at that XHP. Look at that grind. I mean, it reminds me a lot of like a raptor almost, like the like the dinosaur, like a raptor, or maybe some sort of like a dinosaur head. I love this knife. First impressions of these, I think you can kind of tell by now, is I'm blown away by them. I think they are amazing. I mean, look at that. Look at the, the details. Look at those screws. Sorry, I always seem to find myself trying to find the, the camera. Look at those screws just incredible the detail that goes into these is phenomenal this dude does great work his name is ed cope for any of you guys that don't know who ed cope is i would probably go check him out he is definitely worth checking out he does some phenomenal work so i started looking this guy up and i think i said it in my unboxing portion of this this dude is a phenomenal human being. He's not just a phenomenal knife maker. He's just a great dude all around. He, him and his wife both are ex-military. Uh, and he's just a good dude, man. He's put his life on the line, him and his wife both, to, uh, to protect you and I. So I, for that alone, I think he's a wonderful human being. But uh, the type of knives that he makes and the craftsmanship that goes into them just puts him on another level for me, man. He's not only a... Uh, a get out there and, and sacrifice yourself for your country kind of guy. He's a, a he's a craftsman as well. So he's seems like he's a an all around good dude. But uh, this is the mid tech. I'm gonna get you guys some more information on them over the next couple of days on who all's involved in this. I know that there is a line of these, and I'll uh, I'm gonna probably put. Uh, I'll probably put it in, in the video right here. I'll, I'll add the, uh, sorry, I'm bumping the camera around. I'll add the, on the screen here, the name of the website where you can go to try to find some of these, but they are gorgeous. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Whiskey customized, had, uh, had Cope customize this one for him because I saw a picture of how it started out and that brass right there and on the clip didn't exist. It was all just that gray. <clears throat> which looked cool too, don't get me wrong, but the way that he did this is just, oh man, it adds a whole nother dynamic. And this is what I was talking about in the unboxing too. Look at that rounded, how everything is just so rounded off, and I really dig that. I've not seen that before. I don't think there's any other knife, mid-tech custom production or otherwise, that I've seen this level of just detail and, and all of the rounding of everything. I really like it because I'm a fan of crowned spines, like on my, my Slish Bowie, I believe the, uh, the K2 has a little bit of crowning on it, and I'm really a fan of crowned spines, and I've never seen that carried all the way into the flipper tab like that. And man, it just looks super freaking cool, dude. I, I really dig it. It's, a, it's something different. It's something new. And that's what, that's what I like in knives. It's something fresh and new and something I haven't seen before. So I was really, really stoked about this one. And like I said in the, in the opening of this, Dude, that action, I mean, if you if you just turn it over like this, it's a guillotine, and there is no movement in this knife whatsoever. It is, I mean, rock solid, up and down, side to side. You can't get it to move. I'm sure you can probably hear my wife in the background, Bama Knife Wife's in there yelling at Oliver. <clears throat> but 
I'm super impressed with these. I mean, super impressed with them. The, the craftsmanship is fantastic. And I was actually able to talk to Ed Cope a little bit on Instagram Messenger uh, today. And uh, I think he sent me another message. I'm going to go check it. And, and I'm going to talk to him a little bit and see if I can't get a little bit of history and a little bit of background on these and bring you guys some more interesting information about them besides just uh, taking a look at them. I'd like to get you some some inside information so that's what i'm going to try to do about you know what was his inspiration and just learn about him a little bit but this is my first experience with him and i am extremely impressed i love that blade shape i love being able to get down on that blade like that i really like it like i was saying it reminds me a lot of or i think i said it, it i think it reminds me a lot of the umnum zon how it's got that harpoon where you can get down on there i really like that and these these scales just just blow me away and everything on it's just so smooth love it i like the xhp i like the stone wash i like everything about this knife man very very cool all right so <clears throat> first impressions on these big thumbs up from bama knife guy this knife was gifted to me by whiskey <clears throat> by spirited whiskey on instagram i'm gonna throw his uh i'm gonna throw his stuff up again right here boom boom I'm gonna throw uh throw it up there so you guys can go give him a follow please do this is a super cool guy you can see i've already been using it i was using it to uh do a little work today i couldn't help it i've carried it uh this is the first day but still i've uh i think i've carried it ever since i got it out of the box it hasn't left my hand or my pocket and i am i'm, I'm seriously smitten <laughs> with this knife the action on it is amazing that thumb stud is a you know there's some custom work obviously done to it you can see the blade finish i mean you can see everything on it's just kind of been touched on that clip the hardware really really dig it man and i i can't thank whiskey enough for for hooking me up with this what a freaking cool thing to do i do need to tighten the pivot just a little bit because i was noticing when i first got it it was perfectly centered now it's starting to walk over a little bit and so I was feeling on it a second ago, and it is definitely loose. You can see a little bit of wobble there, and I think it's because I've flipped it about 9,000 times since I got it. So I definitely uh, need to tighten that pivot up. But man, look at that edge. That was something I wanted to uh, make note of was this edge. Man, look at that. I can't remember who he said did this edge, but geez Louise. It was the same people that did the, the custom work that did the edge. And this thing is so thin. I mean, so, so thin behind the edge. I'm gonna put some calipers on it and find out exactly how thin, but I would say that's probably, heck, I don't know, man, 15 thousandths probably. Super thin, nice, nice knife. And and gifted to me, man, look at, geez. I, I just, I was so blown away by that. I could not believe that that he gifted me this knife. Just absolutely floored by that, man. You, you're the man, Whiskey. Uh, um, Jeez, look how just look how gorgeous that thing is and it has a tip that is insane but yeah so that's the thresher first impressions on it big 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 double double thumbs up and the cope customs freaking phenomenal knives they're so awesome the finish is so killer uh he does great work i'm gonna bring you guys some more details on him and his work and uh just a little more information about him I'm, uh, I've been talking to him on Instagram a little bit. Thanks to uh, Whiskey again for hooking me up with, with him. Just a freaking awesome dude. Look at that stone wash. Just gorgeous. But yeah, so first impressions on these, man, is, is I love them. But there is something about this knife that just, man, it just really, man, I just, I like it a lot. It's just such a, such a smooth, all-around, well-balanced, well-built feels like a tank of a knife i mean just feels so good so yeah thanks to whiskey for sending these over i'm definitely going to be doing some more videos on these so thanks to ed cope for building sweet knives and thanks again to him and his wife for their absolute selfless sacrifice of putting themselves out there and going and defending our country so that me and all the other buffoons like me can go and talk crap online about fun knives and stuff, man. We wouldn't be able to do this stuff if it wasn't for the people like him and his wife that go out there and defend our nation so that we can do all these cool things, man. Whiskey, you're the man for sending them to me. 
I've got another surprise for you guys uh, coming up here pretty soon that somebody else is sending to me. And we'll make that known here in the next couple of days. But that is it, guys and gals. I love you. And I'm out.